Now remember how function notation works, right? Basically, I put the input in here, and anywhere else there's an x or the input variable, I put it over here. So if I want to see if f of 0 is equal to 0, I will simply substitute 0 in for x. Now I have to remember my order of operations. 3 times 0 is 0. And then I do 0 minus 5, and I get negative 5. Right? Well, then, therefore, f of 0 is equal to negative 5. It's not equal to 0. So I try my next one. Let's try f of 3. Well, f of 3, again, same thing, is going to be 3 times 3 minus 5. And that's going to be 9 minus 5. And 9 minus 5 is 4. So f of 3 is equal to 4. And that's my winner. Right? So a nice function notation problem, just being able to deal with functions and their notation.